everybody. It's Fiona from Jiggy Wigglers again. How are you all doing? Are you all good? I hope you're finding lots of fun things to do at home to keep you busy. So this week, there's going to be a video every day from either myself or Louisa with lots of different things. So I'll tell you about that at the end. But I'm here now to tell you what you're going to need and what we're going to make on Wednesday. OK, so this week we're going to be making a turtle. So to make our turtle, you're going to need a paper plate. So any paper plate you've got at home doesn't have to have an edge like this. Just a normal round paper plate. Absolutely fine. But this is the only one I had in my cupboard. OK, so that will be fine. This is going to be his shell. So we're going to be decorating our turtle. There's three different ways you can decorate him. You don't need all of this, just one of them. So if you want to paint him, get your paints ready. If you want to use felt pens and crayons, get those ready. Or if you'd like to do some gluing and sticking, you're going to need a glue stick and any old wrapping papers you might have at home from old Christmas birthdays, anything like that. Maybe some old tissue paper, tin foil, a little bit of tin foil if you've got some of that. Or if you've got any old magazines that you're allowed to cut up, they'll be fine as well. I also found some glitter and I've got some sequins here that I found in the craft cupboard as well. But like I say, you don't need all of those things, just one of them. If you are doing the gluing and sticking, you're going to obviously, adults, you're going to need to help the children with the cutting and the scissors, okay? Also going to need a felt pen and we're going to need some card. So if you don't have a piece of card, just an old cereal box will do. That's what I'm going to use. So keep an old cereal box till Wednesday. So I think that's everything we're going to need. Hunter's going to be back with me on Wednesday. He's going to help make the turtle. He enjoyed doing it last time, so he's going to help again. Um, and that's that. Then we'll make our turtles and that will be ready to use with Louise's song on Friday. OK, now, as well as that, this week on Tuesday and Thursday at around 6 p.m., Louisa and I will be posting a bedtime story video for you all. So you need to get your pyjamas on, get your teeth brushed, get your snugglies ready, and you can snuggle down and listen to our bedtime stories this week. It's something new that we thought we'd give a try and hopefully you'll like. So I'm not going to tell you what my story is, but I'm going to give you a clue. In my story, I've got a fox, a snake, an owl and a mouse. So have a little think as to what story that could be. It's a fox, a snake, an owl and a mouse. It's a really good story. It's one of everybody's favourites. So I'm going to be reading that to you tomorrow around 6pm. It's not a live video, so you can tune in at any time after 6 to watch it. And you can obviously watch them as many times as you want to after that. So that's the plan for the week. So I'm going to be doing the story Tuesday. Louise is going to do the story Thursday, again, at around 6 p.m. So tune in for hers as well. Now, before I go, I just need to check that one of my Jiggy Wigglers who comes to me on a Monday with his childminded Jenny is being good for his mummy. So Alfie, I hope you're being good with Theo and being nice, OK? So I'll give you a thumbs up. Hope you're being good. And I'll see you soon, OK? Right, so have a good week, guys. Like I say, I'll be back tomorrow with a bedtime story, Wednesday with our craft make. Um, see you then. All right, so have a good week.